Welcome back to JavaScript The Basics. In this lesson, we're going to look at object constructor functions. Object constructor functions allow us to create many objects using a function as a template. We'll cover functions in a future section. A function for now is something we can count on to do work for us. So in this lesson, we're going to learn what the object constructor function does for us. So let's say we want to make a car, then another car, and then another car. This could take a long time. In our previous example, we have only been able to build one object, aka a car, at a time. Sometimes in JavaScript, we like to have an object type that can be used to create many objects of one type. The standard way to create an object type is to use an object constructor function. So let's pretend we are a car factory and have to build a lot of cars. We will first create the template with the object's properties. This will save us from writing a lot of the same code over and over again. We'll look at functions in a later lecture, but when you find yourself repeating the same code over and over, that is a sign there is probably a function that can do the work for us. Let's look at this code since it is new to us. Then we'll look at the magic it performs. First, we have the JavaScript reserved keyword function. This is for our JavaScript interpreter, so it knows what to do with the code we are giving it. After this, we have the function name car. It is capitalized. I know that I told you before that capitalizing the first word of variables is not the best practice, but when it comes to object constructor notation, this is in fact best practice. This isn't necessary, but remember, we are always coding for the JavaScript interpreter's understanding, but also for human eyes that will look at our code later. The function has three parameters. Each one sets the value of a property in the object. The properties will be the same for each object created using this function. We have a new word for our JavaScript vocabulary. It is the reserved word, this. Let's pause for a moment and talk about this. The keyword, this, is commonly used inside functions and objects. Where the function is declared alters what this means. It always refers to one object, usually the object in which the function operates. In JavaScript, the thing called this is the object that owns the JavaScript code. The value of this, when used in a function, is the object, in this case car, that owns the function. The this keyword in an object constructor does not have a value. It is only a substitute for the new object. The value of this will become the new object when the constructor is used to create an object. Note that this is not a variable. It is a keyword. You cannot change the value of this to be something else and get the same result. Let's produce a mass amount of cars. The function car is an object constructor. Once you have an object constructor, you can create new objects or instances of the same type. We can do that by setting a new variable of car1 and assign it a value of new car. And remember, car doesn't have to be capitalized, but it is the convention and best practice in this case. You then give it arguments. Remember, the car object constructor has the parameters built into it. And this is where you are calling the function, so we put in arguments. We can then fill our car with arguments that match the parameters of our object constructor. We add Honda for make, Civic for model, and 2006 for year. And here's what our value for car1 is. That's a lot of code. Look how easy it is to make a bunch of cars using the object constructor function. Once we have created our new objects, we can add and access them in the same way as any other object. We could look at car 4, the Jeep Cherokee, and we might want to add a few features. We could give it four-wheel drive with dot notation. car 4 dot four-wheel drive equals the boolean true. We could give it a boolean as to whether it has bumper stickers or not, and in this case, we could use bracket notation to do this. There you go. You have moved from making cars one at a time to becoming a car factory. Now let's give this a shot again. Let's build a zoo. If we were to build a zoo with object literal notation, it might look something like this. By the way, I'm not a zoologist, so I'm just making this stuff up off the top of my head. First, let's add a lion. We'll give it the name Simba. I know, not very original. We'll give it a food type of carnivore and a boolean of true for king of the jungle. Then we could add a monkey. We'll give him a first name of Louis, a food type of carnivore, and a boolean for false in regards to being king of the jungle. As you can see, this is going to take a while and a lot of repeated keystrokes to fill up our zoo. 
So let's create another object constructor function. It looks like all of our animals are going to have a name, food type, and status as to whether they are king of the jungle. We'll start off by declaring a function and choosing the function name, in this case, animal. Again, we capitalize it as best practice. We then fill in the parameters, which are name, food type, and king of the jungle. Then we have opening and closing curly braces for our function code. And there we place our this keyword that will be referring to the object animal. And there we place our this keyword that will be referring to the object constructor function. Attached to each keyword is the property that will belong to each instance of the object, and then we set the value equal to the parameter above that will be filled in with the argument when we invoke the function. So we are all set. Let's fill up our zoo. We'll just declare a new variable for each animal and assign it the value of the new keyword that is going to let the JavaScript interpreter know that we are going to make new instances of our object. Then we just fill in the parameters and we are all set. And there you have it. Thanks for joining me in our first look at object constructor functions. We'll see you in the lab to put what we have learned into practice.